This lesson deals with supplemental problem 2.6. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 7. Given the circuit with some measurements of voltage and current, can you use the conservation of power to find the power absorbed by element F? A couple ways we could do this. I'm going to make it so that every element absorbs power and then we're going to sum that and set it equal to 0. For element A, I have the current entering the plus terminal coming out the minus, so the power absorbed is 13.8 times minus 51 milliamps, and that's a minus 703.8 milliwatts. For element B, I have the current entering the plus terminal coming out the minus, power absorbed then is minus 15 volts times 45 milliamps, and that's a minus 675 milliwatts. For element C, I have the current leaving the plus terminal. Let me turn that around and have it enter the plus terminal. And so the value would be minus 6 milliamps. So the power absorbed is minus 6 milliamps times minus 1.8 volts. And that's a plus 10.8 milliwatts. For element D, have to turn the current around to make it power absorbed. This would be 20 milliamps. And the power absorbed would be 12 volts times 20 milliamps. And that's 240 milliwatts. And lastly, for element E, the current is entering the plus terminal coming out the minus. So the power absorbed is the product of 16.8 and 14 milliamps. And that's 235.2 milliwatts. You can see the calculations here below. Now let's add up all the absorbed power. Take the positive terms, which is 10.8 milliwatts, 240 milliwatts, and 235.2 milliwatts. Let's add up all the negative ones, which was a minus 703.8 milli and 675 milli. And then lastly, let's add in the power absorbed by element F. Adding all these up, we get 486 milliwatts. And for this summation, we get a minus 1378.8 milliwatts. And then lastly, the power absorbed by element F. Adding these two together, we get a minus 892.8 milliwatts. And of course, all this has to equal zero. The power absorbed by element F would then be a plus 892.8 milliwatts. And this is supplemental problem 2.6.